I used the first 8 videos to introduce the 28 characters that appeared in the TV anime and movies. Now we come to the remaining 16 characters. Most viewers might not be very familiar with the remaining 16 members of the organization, including me, because they are the characters in the special manga of Detective Conan, created by the assistance of Aoyama Gosho. And there seems to be no resources for the special manga on the internet, and this manga that can be purchased from certain sites are rarely translated. So I will translate based on my poor Japanese reading ability and introduce the whole character as completely as possible. The first is Eric. His real name is Amelin, appearing in Detective Conan's special manga, Volume 26. He is a professional assassin of the Black Organization, and on the surface, he is a singer. Unlike the seven kind-hearted members of the movie originals, Eric has a particularly cruel personality. He judges different people, scorns those he thinks are stupid and weaker than him, and uses them to achieve his own goals, even if the other person is just a child. In Volume 26, he was sent to assassinate Princess Latuna, but Conan revealed Eric's identity, resulting in him failing to do so. After the mission failed, he did not choose to retreat, but held Haibara as his hostage to force the princess to commit suicide. Then Conan used the tranquilizer dart to stun him while he was careless, and successfully arrested him. In the end, like Kusira Rikimichi, in order to protect the organization's information from being known to more people, Eric ingested the poison hidden in his teeth and committed suicide. To put it bluntly, in order to prevent any conflict between the original characters and the real main storyline, all the original characters in the special manga or movie originals will commit suicide or accidentally die for various reasons, except for Generic. Just like Generic and Eric, who are both members of the Black Organization that appeared in Detective Conan's special manga Volume 26. In fact, I have checked several websites based on the name Generic, but there are different answers on each website regarding his gender. In this case, I will still choose to trust the wiki and treat him as a male. Generic's childhood was very miserable. He was abandoned by his parents since he was a child. When he was 13 years old, he was fancied by the Black Organization for his intelligence capabilities and they adopted him. It may be because of his bad experience when he was a child that his personality became very cowardly. The organization wanted to punish him for his incompetence several times, but he was saved by Shetty. After that, his job became Shetty's assistant, helping Shetty with her research. However, that person seemed to have discovered Generic's genius in medical knowledge, and he asked Generic to leave Shetty and develop another new drug independently. This drug is different from the APTX 4869 drug for rejuvenation. Rather, it is mainly used to control the memory of others. If the drug is successfully developed, then it can brainwash the high-ranking leaders of each country and make them think that they are members of the Black Organization in order to control the entire world. But an unexpected thing happened. Shetty betrayed the organization and was in a state of unknown whereabouts. Generic once assisted in Shetty's research, so this made him very clear about the function of the APTX 4869 drug, and he speculated that Shetty escaped after becoming a child. He did not report this fact to that person, because as an orphan who grew up in the organization, he never felt the care of others. Generic has also never taken the initiative to show care for others either. But after encountering Shetty, the person who would protect him when he was in danger, his personality began to change. The lack of love between family members, the lack of love between friends, and the lack of love between lovers made him full of a protective and possessive desire for his predecessor, Shetty. So, not only did he now report to the organization about Shetty's information, but he also betrayed the organization himself. He took the product he had successfully researched, and then sneaked into Shetty's laboratory, stealing the APTX 4869 drug from it, before the organization destroyed the lab, and then him, a 17-year-old, turning himself into a child. At this point, Generic began searching for Shetty in a nearby elementary school. To better implement this plan, he needed a new identity, an identity that would not be discovered by the organization. Finally, he found a couple whose last name was Honda. Note that their name is Honda, and they have nothing to do with Kiryu's Hondo family. The Honda's son died in an accident unexpectedly, so Generic used the mind control and amnesic drugs to become the adopted son of the couple. Then, Generic, as Honda, found Shetty in Teton Elementary, Class 1A, whose current name is Haibara Ai, and sent a letter in which he revealed her true identity and wanted to abduct her. This caused Shetty to panic. Conan and the detective boys worked together to protect Haibara and find out who the sender of the letter was. However, their investigation did not yield any results. At this time, Conan and Haibara conducted reverse deducing together, not to find who the sender of the letter was, but to deduce that who in the organization might know that Shetty became smaller, and why they would not kill Shetty immediately, but send a letter over. 
it was concluded that the only person who would do this was generic. It is very likely that he had taken the ABTX 4869 drug like them, became smaller, and stayed hidden by their side. Based on these clues, they found Honda, a kid who transferred to the school halfway through the semester just like them. Knowing he was discovered, Generic confessed his identity as well as to Shetty, hoping that she could live with him away from the organization and like a normal family. Well, now I wish that he was a woman. But Haibara rejected him because she thought it would be useless to avoid the organization all the time. Rather than returning to a normal life like Generic, she was more willing to rebel against the organization with Conan. Nonetheless, Generic did not give up. He took out the amnesiac drugs, planning to brainwash Shetty. At this critical moment, Genta used the slingshot to knock out the drug, and the gas in the bottle instantly dispersed. Conan and Haibara covered their mouths and noses in time and did not breathe in the gas. But Generic was not so lucky, and he fainted after breathing in the gas. In the end, Generic lost his memory, and Conan and Haibara forgave him, hoping that he would live a peaceful life together as Honda, with the Honda couple, and enjoy this childhood that he never had. So far, the story of the members of the organization in the special manga of All In 26 is over. In fact, what really protected Generic from being killed by the organization and living peacefully is not Conan or Haibara, but modern film and TV dramas that do not allow any scenes of children's injury or death to appear. Am I right, Higurashi Neverland? To be honest, I still think this kind of plot is routine. Of course, in addition to the purpose of that person, the goal of conquering the world has long been used by a lot of other anime villains. The boss in Detective Conan should be more unique and mysterious to be worthy of the loyalty of Rum and Jean. Compared with drugs that can control the world, poison that can massacre more people are more in line with the image of the black organization in the TV anime, just like the kind of drug studied by the organization member, Blackbeard. He appeared in Detective Conan's special manga, Volume 35. He is a virologist who worked for the organization and is a colleague of Shetty. However, unlike the last drug that can give people mental damage, the poison studied by Blackbeard is more of a physical damage to people, a virus with a high lethality and transmission rate. Blackbeard reported to Gene the result of his research, a virus with a fatality rate of 70%, and an ignorant vodka who was dissatisfied that the fatality rate did not reach 100%, but was scolded by Gene. Then Gene asked Blackbeard to go on a luxury cruise ship to test the virus in vivo. If it fails, Blackbeard's death date will come. With the help of the organization, Blackbeard became the agent of a female idol named Eva, who has always refused to join the organization, and he successfully sneaked onto the cruise ship. Blackbeard's plan was like this. He did not directly carry the virus along, but injected it into Eva's body. Due to the fact that the virus takes time to attack, it was planned to be passed to the passengers on the ship through handshaking at Eva's handshake meeting the next day. But Blackbeard's plan failed. Haibara noticed his presence in advance and told Conan. So they stole the virus antidote from Blackbeard and cured Eva with Professor Agasa. At the same time, in order to ensure that Blackbeard would not be suspicious during the treatment, Haibara deliberately disguised herself as Eva to participate in the handshake meeting. The crisis was successfully resolved. After realizing that Blackbeard's plan had failed, Jean planned to eliminate the man, and Blackbeard also found that the reason for his failure was caused by two children named Conan and Haibara. Blackbeard wanted to explain to the organization, but Conan advised him to quickly run away because the organization would not listen to the excuses of failures. After hearing Conan's words, Blackbeard destroyed his phone and began to run away. However, on the second day, the body of an adult male floated in the sea. Another loyal member was killed by Jean because of a mistake. Combining the above, it can be seen that Blackbeard's status in the organization is relatively low. After all, even Vodka would criticize his work. Among the more than 40 members, he was the only one who was yelled at by Vodka. In terms of human nature, he and Eric are of the same type, very cruel and cold. When faced with the onset of symptoms of subjects who were subject to his own viruses to conduct experiments, he was able to keep his face unchanged and he was proud that his research results might infect many people in the world. But I still want to say that the professionalism of the black organization in the special manga is really broad, from controlling the world to luring girl idols to join the organization. This contrast directly makes me see that person go from Madara in Naruto directly to Inogane Kimanjiro in Backstreet Girls. To be honest, the black organization did almost everything a criminal organization would do, and most of the 44 members were responsible for assassinations. But the department with the best performance was the five researchers in the pharmacy department. 
One person invented a virus with a high lethality and transmission rate. Two people developed a drug that can reverse time and resurrect life, the silver bullet. And another one that can kill people without leaving any traces, the APTX 4869 drug. An 18-year-old improved the ABTX 4869 drug so that it can make consumers younger. And another 17-year-old member invented a drug that can brainwash and control other people's memories. Do you guys want to switch careers to the medical industry so that you can get countless Nobel Prizes and Lasker Awards? And then after you guys apply for a few patents, you don't have to worry about the FBI, CIA, or Japanese public security personnel coming to harass you. And even the money you make is estimated to be more than the money you get for killing people.